Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Brittany and I am on a mission to hit a thousand subscribers. So make sure you click that button below. In today's video, I'm actually gonna kind of do like a hodgepodge of a bunch of orders that I need to complete. And the reason why is because I have like one item that I need to complete here, like one item I need to complete there. And so instead of creating like individual videos, for just that one item, I figured, I'm squatting, so bear with me. I figured I just put it all in one video to uh, just kind of go through my Sunday and orders that I need to fulfill and get out by Monday. So I think I have, um, well specifically, I'm actually working on three sweaters. So it's probably what I'm gonna have in this video here. And then I'm also working on another order for like a jersey, but I need to wait for confirmation back from the customer. So that might have to be in its own separate video. So just keep watching. Okay, so I ended up picking up this sweater, which is actually the very popular tan sweater from my customer. And basically we are going to be putting the um, Roman numeral numbers on here, which is going to be their anniversary date. And she's actually going to be giving this to him as a Valentine's Day gift, which I have been seeing that all over like Instagram. And I absolutely love that. And it's definitely something that I'm happy I'm able to um, do. And then I am going to be putting it up on my shop. So I actually asked my husband, I was like, Hey, would you actually wear something like this? And he's like, yeah, absolutely. Because it's very just simple and classic. So I, um, thought, yeah, why not? Let's go ahead and get working on this. I, of course, sorry, I'm pulling hair. I'm going to um, go ahead and create it using my Chroma software. And then um, after that, we'll just get embroidering. As I've said to you before, and I'll continue to say to you a thousand times, run it first before running the image. Looks like this needs to be moved up. Okay, so actually, I need to change my hoop size, my hoop. D hoop. Okay, let's trace this out. All right, and let's start. So I actually just stopped it because I'm thinking that the image is too big for this hoop. The one thing about Mighty Hoops is that these are square and the ones your machine come with are round. So typically what happens is I'll show you this bar right here is constantly going to get hit with the back of this hoop. And if you're looking at this right here, you can definitely tell there is quite a bit of a gap here compared to what it's supposed to show on the image. So I'm like, instead of continuing to run it, waste bobbin, waste my thread, waste my time, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm actually just going to shrink it a little bit. Um, one thing that I've actually been learning on the comment section, so I appreciate everybody in their comments, is they're actually telling me that when it comes to shrinking the image, try to shrink it by only 5 to 10% on the machine. If you have to go larger or bigger, you need to bring it back onto the software and adjust it because what they were saying is that the thread count will not change. So what that basically means is that if I'm gonna shrink the image smaller, I'm definitely gonna run into a lot more um, thread and I probably don't need that much. So just put it back to the software, shrink it, bring it back. So I do appreciate you guys making those suggestions and those comments. Um, I have been doing that a lot more lately. So I'm gonna go ahead, put this back on here. Let's hoop it. Okay, so that time, so that time when I just ran the tracing, it actually did not hit my hoop. So this time it should run 
smooth there. So let's let's try to redo that again. Okay, so as you guys can see, I was definitely correct where this is gapping way more than when I did shrink it a little bit. And like I mentioned, I only shrinked it, shrinked it, shrunk it by 10%. And I originally had it at 4.25 in length. So yeah, it definitely looks really good. If you guys can help me figure out why my black constantly creates these extra tails, that would be really helpful. Um, I have figured it out on my other colors. Obviously it has a lot to do with these knobs. And I did post up on my Rakoma um, video that obviously tension has a lot to do with it. And a lot of my colors do not do that except for some reason my black. And even while this was embroidering and I was sampling on it, I was just kind of messing with the dials, but it's, it's still doing it. I mean, it did come out pretty good in the two M's and the V and the I, but again, it was just like a few of the letters. So any suggestions, I would appreciate it. Your guys' help is absolutely amazing. So let's go ahead. We're going to get the sweater hooped at this point. Oh my God, what am I doing? <laughs> We're going to get the sweater hooped and let's get one of our three projects completed. Let's throw that there. Guys, I, I have a lot of little projects going on and my room is starting to look like a disaster. And it's really bothering me. <laughs> this is for the next project because I don't have a mighty hoop big enough for that. But, alrighty. Oh, also, Another suggestion that you guys have been making as well is um, that most everything should really have the thicker um, cutaway on it in order to keep the image from shifting when embroidering. That has been another really great advice. So I've been basically using my thicker mat. I don't want to call it mat. My thicker backing for basically all my projects unless it's um, I did not film it, but it was for like a, a horse saddle, um, pad. And I actually didn't use any backing for that because of the thickness and it actually came out really good. I'm hoping that I actually get to work with that customer again. And if I do, I'm going to film it then. But yeah, I was just, I wasn't in a, a filming mood and I needed to get those projects done. So just, yeah, sometimes that happens. So another thing I would love to invest in, and obviously I'm not to that stage, is they actually have like this big machine. It's not even a machine, but it's something where you can like slip your shirt on and it puts the exact placement of where the upper left chest logo would go. Now, it's very expensive, so. I can't even justify that right now. But there's just so much when it comes to embroidery that you could honestly purchase that you really just got to pick and choose what you're going to do. And I definitely need to make a video about that. So with me personally, this is like my first time really doing embroidery. Um, I'll actually be coming up on one year in a few months. And I definitely want to do a review video on things that I feel that um, you need to kind of invest at the beginning rather than wait a little bit longer like I did. But the video will come. You got to subscribe and then you'll see it. <laughs> that's, how I, that's how I lure you guys in. <laughs> All right. So that looks really good. Go ahead. Guys, honestly, when it comes to images or embroidery with items that have to go in the bar, this bar back here, always take your hand, go underneath it and just kind of pull the material, not pull it, but you're basically just making sure that nothing is stuck where it's going to be embroidering. Um, trust me, do it every single time. Don't be lazy because what happens is, especially after it does like it's tracing, this has happened to me where sometimes it might catch like the sleeve and I'm not catching it. And now we have where the sleeve is now embroidered into the back. And yeah, that's not a fun project. Actually, in my mystery box one, that happened to one of the backpacks. 
and that really irritated me because <laughs> I did the whole backpack. It came out flawlessly, and then when I went to go take my hoop off, it was embroidered together, so that really sucked. So there we go. Let's go ahead, get this cleaned up and move on to the next one. All right, so this is what it looks like completely cleaned up. It actually came out really good. She wanted it on the left-hand side, which I think placement is perfect. And then of course the back is just my little cutaway. So very clean. I went ahead and just kind of trimmed everything up. Oh, I left, left a little bit. I'll grab that in a second. But yeah, so that's that project. And like I said, it's definitely good for boys or girls, guys or women, whatever you guys like to hear. But yeah, looks really good. So next. Okay, now with this one, this is actually a friend of mine who reached out to have me make a custom sweater for her. And she wants the nickname that her and her significant other call each other. I googled this because originally I thought maybe it meant something and I did find out that there was a YouTube channel named this but she said it has zero reference to do with that. So um yeah I and she also sent me the font that she wanted with it which I will go ahead and throw up here so you guys could use it if you're interested. But let's go ahead. I know with her specifically, she wanted the image as big as I was able to make it. And the hoop that I'm going to be using for this is the one that actually comes with your Ricoma machine. And it is the 11.41 by 11.41. So. Basically, I'm going to make this 10.25. I know it's not as big as the hoop, but again, you know, I want a little bit of wiggle room. So this is what the image is going to look like. Basically, I'm just re-verifying the spelling. Yep, so this is the one that she wants. And basically, we have this right now. Let me... I always try to center it up with zero and zero. I really wish that when you use this software, it would automatically do that. Sorry guys, I need to cover the ring light with my face. Bear with me. So basically what I'm doing is you're going to see that this is going to be 10 inches long and then obviously you gotta go as far down as the T. So this is going to be nine inches in length so this will fit perfect on the machine let's go ahead and hit save and I'm gonna name this DST and then let's go ahead and put that on our USB stick okay so when it comes to making like projects especially one-offs guys take your time with it you have no clock that you are running against so I was taking my time making sure that the font decision that she decided on was correct, the spelling of what I'm putting on here is correct, and then I believe she also said, yep, I want it in black, which is going on a gray sweater, and she actually provided these sweaters to me. She had them mailed. So I am using the hoop, like I mentioned, that actually comes with the machine. This is 11 point. 41 by 11.41 so she said she wanted it as big as it can go now of course your Rakoma machine does come with a bigger hoop let me show you this is actually the largest one that your Rakoma machine will come with I have personally never used it let me see it is the 14.17 by 21.25 I believe people say that they use these mostly for 
like the back of a jacket and I'm not done a big enough image to ever need this but of course you know it's always good just to have it and um yeah that's the I mean this is huge like th this is like yeah so you can definitely see that it does for the back side of a jacket so that's why I'm going with my next largest hoop which is this one I'm not joking when I say I absolutely hate these hoops. I absolutely hate them. Basically, I am unloosening it right now. Okay. Loosening it up a little bit. Let's go ahead and try this again. Oh my God. All right. Now we're in, I'm not joking, I am out of breath. I am like, this is, I'm being so dramatic right now. I don't know about you guys, but when it comes to me, I actually will delete an image that is a one-time use, just so I'm not clogging up my USB stick or my machine. I am gonna go ahead and remove that, which is basically what I just did. Now I'm going over to my USB stick. Finding the image, here you go, now I'm putting it on, okay, now I am picking, I think this is my e-hoop, pretty sure. Yep, it will tell you your e-hoop right there. I don't, I don't even know if you can see that. And actually it's saying that this image is too big. So let's drop this by 10%. See if it fits within guidelines. And it does. Awesome. She said she wanted black. All right. Let's go ahead and trace this out. All right, now, one thing I do want to make mention, um, I've, I've watched myself do it in the video, but I've never explained it. This actually does rotate left and right, as you guys can see. I always recommend keeping it as far over as possible. And the reason why, because if you come close enough, you'll actually notice, hold on, right here, right there, I've actually hit it on this bracket because I had it facing like this. And when it comes all the way over to needle 15, this whole bar will slide and this moves with it and literally chunked my machine. So that's why I've learned to keep this over as far as possible. Okay, so we have the image as large as possible. I've gone ahead and traced it. Everything is within guidelines. I've selected the color, which her color is black. And uh, da, 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 da. this is not that many threads, 6,976. So I made sure that um, backing is on, nothing is in the way. And let's go ahead and hit start. All right, so there you have it. This is huge. Like huge. Pop this off. Let's see. Yeah. Look how big that is. It doesn't look bad though. Not going to lie. Actually looks pretty good. So all I got to do is just do some cleanup. And then obviously um, with the mess here. But it doesn't look too bad. I'm just clean that up a little bit. Obviously cut away the cutaway. And the cool thing about... The um, hoops that do come with Rakoma is you get two of each. So while I was patiently waiting, I hooped the other one. So that's a really cool concept because 
obviously you can just clip and go and while this is embroidering I can do a clean up so let's go ahead trace this out all right so with this sweater we are actually putting the Roman numeral numbers on the arm sleeve she is wanting it on the right side directly across so I have to use again another hoop that does come with Rakoma. This is the, I think this is the C hoop? No, it's the B hoop. So it's 4.72 by 4.72 because it is round. Now, I am a little aggravated just because I actually went ahead and ran one off camera and I can't tell you why but my machine actually messed up the armband and I'm as you can only imagine pretty frustrated about it because I didn't do anything wrong I was right there with the machine holding the sweater and for some reason it messed up on an M and an X and with the M I was able to go back and like retrace it so it looks a little thicker than the others but when I went back with the X to retrace it it actually just started to start in a different spot and not the original spot which I have no idea why that happened because it's not like my um, bracket moved not like anything shifted and so yeah it, it messed it up and now I'm trying to clean it up to the best of my abilities and I'm getting really annoyed at this point so I kind of just stopped what I was doing and I'm going to try to see if I can run this one real quick and hopefully get no mess ups. It's because I am working in such a narrow spot of the arm I'm thinking maybe it got messed up but this still doesn't justify it. It's I get so aggravated with this machine it's it's like some days it runs completely smooth and then other days crap like this happens all right so with a little bit of patience i was able to clean this one up so this actually came out pretty good this is on oh so here's the front and then she wanted it on the arm sleeve which is right there Let's look. Right? Yeah. See? Can you guys even see that? It looks really good. Obviously, I just kind of put it on over my sweater. But yeah, that's that's a good. It probably could have gone a little lower, but to be honest, I couldn't just because of this um needing to fit around the hoop. I do know that they do have a hoop especially a mighty hoop they have a mighty hoop specifically for the arm sleeve i obviously i just don't own one so we work with what we have but ultimately i don't really think that that is bad but i do want to show you guys the shirt the other shirt real quick hold on <sighs> so here's what i'm talking about if you look at it if you look at it here you can tell where i had to go over the m again because it got messed up and then here, it's, hold on, I, I didn't cut, I didn't cut this, um, the, I can't get the words out. I, I just didn't cut the backing out yet. So here is where I tried to recorrect the X here and then it ended up starting over here. So it ended up messing this up. So obviously the X is messed, I gotta do that, and obviously the M is messed up. So nothing I can do about the M. Um, at this point, I'm just trying to possibly take off this little tail here and clean it up a little bit better and see what she thinks. I'm not excited about it. Um, I guess worst case, I could just purchase a new sweater from Amazon because I know she bought them from or she bought it from there. But yeah, I'm I'm I get pretty um aggravated with this machine and um obviously it can boil down to um what do they call it? Like human error, I guess. I just I wish that when I did trace it out, it did say 
that it was red, which means that it wouldn't have been within the hoop parameters. And I could have just moved the image up a little bit, which is what I'm thinking is a problem I'm running into. So I'm just going to Woosa. Um, I'm going to regroup and figure it out. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I feel like I'm always having frustrations and complications with my machine. And I feel like I, <laughs> you guys are probably thinking like this girl is crazy, but at least I'm going through these and hopefully they will avoid you guys from going through them. So whew, if you could, please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Subscribe, I keep doing that. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next video. Bye everyone.